To charge your Huawei MatePad wireless keyboard, start by ensuring the keyboard is properly paired with your tablet. Next, locate the charging port on your keyboard. This is typically a small, rectangular opening along the edge of the keyboard. Connect the provided USB charging cable to the charging port. The cable typically has a USB-C or micro-USB connector. Plug the other end of the cable into a USB power source. You can use your MatePad, a USB wall charger, or connect it to a computer. Look for an indicator light on the keyboard to confirm that charging has started. This light is usually located near the charging port. Allow several hours for the keyboard to fully charge. Some newer models feature magnetic attachment that enables automatic charging when connected to the tablet. Always verify that the charging indicator light is on to ensure your keyboard is charging properly. This confirms a successful connection and active charging. Maximizing your MatePad 11.5's battery life starts with enabling power saving mode and managing app battery usage effectively. Individual app battery optimization allows you to control which apps consume the most power. Set power hungry apps to optimized or restricted mode to extend battery life. Display settings have the biggest impact on battery life. Enable automatic brightness, use standard refresh rate for normal tasks, and activate smart resolution to reduce power consumption. Disable unused connectivity features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and location services when not needed. For optimal battery health, maintain charge levels between 30 and 80% and always use the original charger. Proper battery management can significantly extend your device's lifespan. For long-term storage, power off your MatePad with the battery at around 50% to maintain optimal battery health.